Okay, then, with this question, we're given dy dx equals 5x to the minus half plus x root x, where x is greater than zero, and we're asked to find out what y is, given that y equals 35 at x equals 4. And to do something like this, what we've got to do is to work backwards. We've got to integrate dy dx, okay, to get y. So that's where we're going to start. We can say that therefore y equals the integral of what we have here. So put that in brackets because there's more than one term. And when it comes to writing this term here, got to write it as x to the power something. Well, root x is x to the power half and if you multiply it by x, x to the power 1 here, you just have to add the powers together. So that's going to be x to the power 1 and a half, or better still, just write it as a top heavy fraction, x to the power 3 over 2. And then we just need to complete that, put the dx on the end. We're integrating with respect to x then. And when you've got something like this, all you need to do is add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So for 5x to the minus a half, just add 1 to the power, so minus a half plus 1 is 1 half, and divide by the new power. So that's going to be all divided by a half. For the next term, do much the same kind of thing again. Add 1 to the power. If you add 1 to 1 and a half, you're going to get 2 and a half or 5 over 2. So that's going to be x to the power 5 over 2 and then divide by the new power. So divide by 5 over 2. And then the point about this is don't forget that constant of integration. I've called it plus c, but you can call it any letter you like, okay? Then just tidy this up. If we multiply top and bottom here by 2, we're going to get 10x to the power half. And again, if we multiply top and bottom of the fraction by 2 here, we're going to get 2x to the power 5 over 2, all over 5. And then plus c. Now we need to work out this constant of integration, and that's where this comes in. We know that when x equals 4, we're told that y equals 35. So we can substitute this into here. We've got what y is, okay? So therefore we have 35 equals 10 times x to the half. So that's going to be times 4 to the power half. And then substitute our 4 into this term, and you've got 2 times 4 to the power 5 over 2, and that's all divided by 5, and then plus that constant of integration c. So we've just come down here now. So we've got 35 equals, and if you've got anything to the power half, remember that means the square root, square root of 4, which is 2, 10 twos are going to be 20, and then 4 to the power 5 over 2, take the square root of 4, that's because this is to the half here, square root of 4, which is 2, raise it to the power 5, 2 to the power 5 is 32, times it by the 2, and you've got 64. 64 then over 5, 64 fifths plus c. So to get that c now, all I need to do is take 20 and take 64 fifths from the 35. And if you do that, what you end up with is c equals 11 fifths, okay? Then I need to just substitute this back in to this equation to complete it, giving us y equals 10x to the power half plus 2x to the power 5 over 2, all divided by 5, and then plus c, plus 11 fifths, okay? And there you go. Gives us why then.